The story begins at a place where there was poisonous rain. Due to this poisonous and dangerous rain, many people had lost their lives. The population of that village was already halved. Any nearby rivers had become more dangerous and poisonous due to this water. Even marine animals which used to live in the water were dying. There was such a shortage of clean water that everyone was buying water at high prices. Now we were shown a junkyard in the village where a boy named David was looking for some essentials. David was searching for some items to sell and earn some money. At the same place, David was watching many people who had died. These were the same people who had mistakenly consumed the poisonous water of the sea. Quite some time had passed as all of them had lost their lives. David gathered all his belongings and came to a small place in the village. This was a place where all the villagers used to exchange one thing for another. No type of currency was used at this place. If someone wants to take something else, they had to give their own special thing. Many people were sitting there and wrestling, and whoever won got a lot of money. A man named Freddy was the strongest among all of them. He used to win matches against every man present there. Now we were shown David, who was collecting some items from the junk and giving them to another person. David had given him a very old pen. Then the man gives David a bottle of water and a book. This book was about Turbo Rider, who was a very famous character. David was a big fan of Turbo Rider since childhood. As soon as he found the Turbo Rider book, he started reading it with excitement, as if he was immersing himself into the character of Turbo Rider. Now we see Freddy, who had defeated almost everyone in arm wrestling. But then a man comes running to him. The man tells Freddy that another man has disappeared, but this time it wasn't just anyone. It was Freddy's younger brother. In fact, there had been growing enmity between the town leader and Freddy, and now the town leader had started killing all of Freddy's people one by one. So, first he kidnapped Freddy's brother and then ruthlessly killed him. Upon hearing this dreadful news, Freddy was shocked. Now he had decided that no matter what happens, he would eliminate the town leader. David, on the other hand, had come to the open area and was reading the same Turbo Rider book with great pleasure. He was completely engrossed in the book when he noticed after a while that there was an unknown girl beside him. This girl introduced herself to David as Apple. Apple was trying to befriend David, and despite David's initial reluctance, she had tied a friendship band around his wrist. David couldn't understand what this girl really wanted. But the shocking thing happened when Apple went to talk to the dead people. David was terrified after seeing all these things and started running away from there. He takes his bicycle and arrives at a secretive spot where he used to hide. Due to it being very late at night, David tries to sleep there. However, the friendship band given by Apple suddenly starts glowing in his hand. David repeatedly tries to take off the friendship band from his hand, but he had already put it on tightly, so there was no benefit in trying to remove it. In the next moment, a slight shock of electricity emanates from the friendship band, causing David to immediately lose consciousness. Now we see Freddy, who, along with some of his people, was riding a bicycle towards the town leader. Freddy didn't believe that his brother had died. He wanted to go to the town leader in any way possible to save his brother. Although Freddy's men were trying to convince him not to go to the town leader because he was very dangerous, and he had many people with him. Instead of going to the town leader, we should find water from outside, which we could drink to stay alive because there was no pure water available anywhere in this place. Many people used to import water from outside and sell it at double prices here. The water of the rivers had become completely poisonous, but Freddy had to go to the town leader in any case. But within a short time, Freddy's wish is also fulfilled. Now, many men of the town leader had arrived there who were attacking his men. People had started killing Freddy's companions. Freddy had now understood that nothing would work in front of these people, so he surrendered himself. All the dangerous people of the town leader first killed all of Freddy's companions and then took Freddy with them to the town leader's hideout. Here, Apple, the same unknown and frightening girl, was already talking to the dead people. David was very scared at first, but Apple was just telling David that he had left his comic book there, so she had brought that book for him. David also relaxed a bit after hearing this, and now he was not afraid of Apple. Apple just wanted to befriend David and spend some time with him, so David asks Apple to stay at his hideout. 
Now David was about to follow his entire day's routine, where he used to collect some items from the junkyard. Apple also starts requesting to go with him. David has no option but to take her along with him. So, David takes Apple with him, sitting behind him on his bicycle, and they go far away. David was telling Apple that although she had come with him, they had to follow some rules, which were very important. First, David said that wherever they go, they must have a bottle of water with them. And no matter what happens, we shouldn't go into dangerous zones because dangerous zones have been created there, where we shouldn't even go by mistake because our lives could be in danger. Now, Freddy was presented in front of the town leader. Freddy, on seeing the town leader, was getting very angry because it was he who had killed Freddy's brother. Angry, Freddy tried to attack the town leader, but many of the town leader's men caught him. One man had even cut off Freddy's hand as a punishment. Freddy was in a lot of pain due to all these things. Meanwhile, David and Apple had arrived at a deserted place while traveling. David, to clear his doubts, asked Apple where she was from. Apple explained that she was from a very beautiful place where David could also go if he wanted. And if he said yes, she would take him there. But for now, David did not want to go anywhere from this place. Suddenly, a very mysterious man appears in that place, who catches Apple completely with the help of a net. When David sees this, he starts running away with his bicycle from there. David feels that the man has come only to catch Apple and will not chase him, but this is not the case at all. After catching Apple in the net, the mysterious man starts chasing David continuously. David keeps moving forward sitting on his bicycle. Suddenly, he falls into a bunker made under the ground. David gets a little hurt, but when he opens his eyes, he realizes that he has entered a spaceship. After looking around carefully, David's eyes widened because this spaceship belonged not to anyone but Turbo Boy. This was the same character whose book David used to enjoy reading. It was the first time he came to know that Turbo Boy was a real character. But as soon as he sat on the control seat and looked, he found Turbo Boy lying dead there. Perhaps Turbo Boy had been sent on a mission, but he got stuck underground for many years, which led to his death. On the screen, an old man was explaining that someone would have to wear Turbo Boy's suit and accompany Truth. David had always wanted to become a superhero that is, Turbo Kid since childhood. So now, without thinking much, he took off Turbo Boy's suit, put it on his body, and felt very confident in this suit. So now, he immediately came out of the spaceship and stood in front of the mysterious man. David started asking the mysterious man where he had hidden his friend Apple. If he didn't tell, David threatened to kill him. But the mysterious man seemed very strange and didn't give any answer. The mysterious man had a dangerous weapon hidden in his hand, with which he attacked David. David also had various types of powers in his suit, and he released some very dangerous vibrations from his hand, which completely ended the attack of the mysterious man. David found all these unique powers very amazing, but for now, he needed to locate El and rescue her. Kidnapping El and bringing her to the town leader with all the people was his mission now. Now, they were shown the town leader who was very dangerous and terrifying. The town leader, with the help of his men, used to kidnap many people from the village. He would kill all those people and grind their bodies, extracting water from their bodies. That's why suddenly many people from the village started disappearing, because the town leader used to kidnap them all, kill them, and extract water from their bodies. He started this black business of killing people. Within a short time, David reached the spot to save Apple. Seeing David's red costume, the town leader's men burst into laughter. But David clearly said to leave Apple and the others alone. Otherwise, he would eliminate them all with his powers. David tries to intimidate them all with his new powers, but the town leader was asking him to show his powers. When David turned on the electric punch inside his suit, it didn't work because Turbo Boy's suit battery had run out. That's why he couldn't use any powers for a while. One of the town leader's men started to force David and locked him up with the rest of the people. For now, David was a little relieved. Because inside that same jail, Apple was also present, along with Freddy and many other people whom the town leader had kidnapped. Apple was very happy to see David finally come here to save her. But now, Freddy explains to everyone that if they want to get out of here, they'll have to eliminate the town leader's people, and they can all do this together with the plan made by Freddy. Everyone agrees with Freddy's plan, 
and now all the kidnapped people form a team and start attacking the town leader's people. Apple and Freddy also help in it. While David, now angry, had directly reached the town leader and told him to release all the kidnapped people as soon as possible, or else the consequences would be very bad. He threatened to kill him, but the town leader still underestimated David, so he ordered his men to attack him. One man, in particular, who wore a shield all around him for protection, approaches David. However, David defends himself with his electric punch. But the town leader's special man easily blocked his electric punch and launched an attack on the other side, hitting the biggest gas pipeline in the area. This caused gases to spread all around the place. Freddy and David took full advantage of this opportunity. They quickly got all the kidnapped people out of the area and moved them far away. When the town leader learned about this, he ordered his men to get David alive. David and everyone else took refuge in a safe place, but David was most shocked to find out that a bullet had directly hit Apple. However, Apple was completely fine, and now David realized that Apple was not a human but a robot. This scared him because he thought that all robots were very evil, but Apple explained that robots like her were only made for friendship. However, the bullet that the town leader had shot directly hit her brain, damaging a bioelectric meter present in her body. This meter was connected to the main system of her body, which provided her with life. Due to the meter being damaged, Apple usually took other items from the shopkeeper instead of food. What was surprising was that the shopkeeper, who had been working here for so many years, was now leaving the village by collecting all his belongings because he was very scared due to the recent events caused by the town leader and his men. But now, David, who was a turbo boy, was ready to face them. He was asking the shopkeeper, where can I get a bioelectric meter? The shopkeeper told him that he would have to go south, where there is a huge junkyard, and he could easily get a bioelectric meter from there. David immediately took L with him and headed towards that place. The shopkeeper felt that he would gather all his belongings and leave from there. Unfortunately, in a few moments, the same special man of the town leader arrived there and kidnapped the shopkeeper, taking him to the town leader. The town leader was asking the shopkeeper about where L and David had gone. Initially, the shopkeeper was not saying anything. So now the town leader's men tortured the shopkeeper. With the pedal of the cycle started by that man, all the information of the shopkeeper came out. This moment was very heart-wrenching. While on the other hand, David and L had now reached the place where the bioelectric meter was available. But neither of them knew that the town leader's people had already found out their location. The town leader's shielded man had already reached there with all his people. David and Apple were somehow able to see the shield and his men so they ran away from there, but the alarming thing was that the danger zone was activating right in front of them. David's rule was that he would never go into the danger zone, so he was using all the remaining powers inside his suit to shoot electric fire and kill all the people of the shield. As soon as the shock of electricity hit, many people were instantly melting away, but the special man of the town leader, who was a shield, had easily escaped from David's attack and now he was in front of him. He too now took out a rotating flying dagger from his hand, which directly cut Apple's throat as it flew, and David, somehow saving Apple's head in any way, ran towards the danger zone, where he was going towards a heap of garbage where there was a doll of a robot. David had attached Apple's head to another robot's body and started tying its head. David was also very injured, so he also immediately became unconscious. Suddenly, we are shown a scene of David's childhood where David's mom and dad had come to the town leader, who was already there. Actually, David's dad and mom were very honest people. They had collected a lot of water by their hard work for their family. But when the town leader and his men came to know about this, they came to David's mom and dad to take water. Although David's father agreed to give a little water to the town leader as a human. When the town leader came to know that they had a lot of water with them, then the town leader started saying that he didn't want a little but all the water they had. David's father says that this cannot happen at all because I have collected this water for my family and I will not give it to anyone. The town leader had ordered his men to finish both of them as soon as possible. David's mom and dad were very badly beaten. David, who was very young at the time, was watching all these things from a distance. He shouted loudly at the town leader for a while, but then little David sat on his bicycle and rode away from there. Now the story comes to the present where David was slowly opening his eyes. 
He saw that Freddy had saved him and was bringing him out of the danger zone. Freddy was praising David for his courage and powers. Even Apple was regaining consciousness and was very happy to see her new body. But now she goes the other way to find David. As soon as Freddy and David reached an open field, they were surrounded by many people from the town leader and shield from all sides. Freddy and David stood facing everyone because they had no way to escape from there. David and Freddy started attacking everyone who came in front of them. David was unable to finish off the people properly because his air blaster had been lost somewhere. Freddy, on the other hand, had his own fighting skills, with which he was dodging the attacks of others and hitting them on the neck. Then a very bad lady comes in front of David, who was trying to kill him. At that moment, Apple comes from behind shouting, who kills that lady with the help of a sword. David had his air blaster, which he had left in the danger zone. David also now charges his turbo booster suit, which was now fully ready to attack the enemies. However, with the help of his turbo booster, David manages to kill many people, but the town leader comes there and takes out his gun, shooting Apple. In the next moment, the town leader shot both Freddy and David as well. He was happy to leave from there, thinking that he had almost killed everyone and wouldn't be troubled by these people anymore. However, David quickly recovered on his feet because the bullet fired by the town leader hit a can instead. David was completely fine. He immediately gathered all the energy in his turbo booster and fired upon the town leader. The town leader couldn't bear this attack and fell down at a distance. David wasted no time and used the full power of his turbo booster to eliminate everyone. Now Apple came to David, very happy that he handled the situation well. Both were about to embrace each other when they realized that the town leader was still alive. He was not a human but a robot, and not a good one but a very dangerous one. The scientists who had created the town leader had been killed by it. Now the town leader stood up on both his feet and advanced to attack David. He gathered all the robotic energy inside him and started firing with a laser beam. The laser beam was continuously attacking David from all sides. David realized that he couldn't face this laser beam, so he threw a missile lying on the ground towards the town leader and blasted it with his electric fire gun. This caused a huge chain reaction in the next moment. The explosion was so massive that the town leader's entire body parts flew away, meaning that the town leader was completely finished. But even while dying, the town leader attacked David with the dangerous laser beam. To save David from that attack, Apple came in between so that the effect of the laser beam fell on Apple's body. Due to Elle's systems being completely damaged, she also enjoys the final moments with David. But now, due to a powerful explosion in the deserted area, the ground cracks open. Water starts gushing out from under the ground. The surprising thing is that this water is completely clean and drinkable, which means that the water problem in the village has been completely solved. Apple also deactivates herself by placing her head on David's body. David was crying a lot because of Apple's departure, meaning that he had started to fall in love with a robot, not a human, for the rest of his life. But in the end, he let her go too. David then tries to become like his father, meaning that he will keep the entire village safe and focus on all the development. This is how our story ends here.